I first confronted the mobile cupcakes during the dust storm. Then I spotted several of them at the far end of Anxiety Street. And then again, the mobile cupcakes showed up in the vicinity of Burning Man. A film on Burning Man would be incomplete without the unique American art form, the Mutant Vehicle. They are everywhere, over 500 of them, all licensed by the DMV or Department of Mutant Vehicles. This is what we're looking for here. Again, it's something that's mutated, so it's it's a, you know, you look over and you see a dragon or a boat or a, or whatever. There's, there's actually a distinction we made a couple years ago between art cars and mutant vehicles. A mutant vehicle is not necessarily an art car um, and vice versa. And there's a lot of art car things in Berkeley and there's another big community. In fact, the art car camp over there is from Houston. It was rich where it really started the art cars. And, and there are some fairly subtle differences between an art car and a well, you a classic art car and a mutant vehicle because a lot of an art car can simply be a really really good paint job I mean it is a whole subculture they they all caravan together and come in from Houston together um, but yeah a lot of these mutant vehicles they get used in one week of the year some of them cost tens of thousands of dollars but then again a lot of these art camps out here these art projects the only time they're ever it's the art cars themselves sometimes get reused some of these art projects are going to be burned and they they're tens of thousands of dollars and Sunday night they're just going to go out and smoke Couches and giant fish, rockets, blimps atop flatbeds, dinosaurs, menacing road warrior futuristic vehicles. It's hard to find words to describe some of them. They are objects of art and also serve as the public transport for the city. Thank you so much. Welcome. You too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye. is one of the best ways to see Black Rock City. After dark, the mutant vehicles of the night appear, illuminating with L-wire and great blasts of fire. They seem to float above the ground like ethereal ghostly apparitions in the pitch blackness of the desert. 